Hello everyone, today's lesson is Investigation 5, Displaying Data. So we've already displayed data using circle graphs or and line plots and bar graphs. Today we're going to look at using a pictograph. Now a pictograph uses pictures instead of like X's to mark, to show us how much we have of, in this case, U.S. car and truck production. So you can see that one car picture equals a million cars or trucks. So that means that Michigan here has three million, Ohio has two, Kentucky one, Missouri one, and all the other states have five. Now it helps sometimes to turn these into fractions. And so I need to first figure out how many cars and trucks are made total. So we have 3 plus 2 is 5, 6, 7 plus 5 is 12. So there are 12 million cars produced each year. So I'm going to write each of these amounts as fractions. So we have 3 twelfths, 2 twelfths, 1 twelfth, 1 twelfth, and then 5 twelfths. Now I'm not reducing these because it's going to help me turn this information into a circle graph. So I'm going to go ahead and create a circle graph. Now circle graphs can, can be difficult to make. I'm using my lines on this program so it's a little bit easier. But just know as long as you get close to having each section the same size, you'll be just fine. I already noticed that I'm not quite getting it but that's okay. All we're trying to do is do our best. All right, so three twelfths of this circle should be for Michigan. So I'm going to highlight three of the 12 pieces. Okay, and that's Michigan. Ohio is two twelfths, so I highlight two of those. Kentucky is one twelfth. So one piece. Missouri is one twelfth. And then all the other states is the rest of the circle. Okay, so that's how we change a pictograph into a pie chart or a circle graph. Okay. When we're trying to graph data, it also helps us to know some other information. And that is the mean, median, mode, and range. Now mean is another word for average. Median is the middle number in my set of data. The mode is the most frequently occurring number. And the range is the difference between the greatest and least of the numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and find those. Now for the average, it would take me a long time to add these up and then divide. Uh, there are 18 numbers, and when I add them up and divide by 18, I get about 12.6 for my average. Okay. The median is the middle number, so I'm looking for the middle number in this long string. Now, it helps to find the median to cross off numbers on either end until I get to the middle. So I cross one off at a time on either end. Okay, so I'm here at the middle and there's two numbers. Since both numbers are 12, that's fine. That means that the median is 12. I'll show you what happens when the median is different. All right, the mode is the most often repeated number. So if we look at my data, the number that's repeated the most is 12. Now the median and mode aren't always the same. They can be, but they don't have to be. Now the range is the biggest number minus the smallest number. So I'm going to do 19 minus 5. 19 minus 5 is 14. So the range of the numbers is 14. In other words, meaning that there are 14 places between the smallest number and the biggest number. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw that line plot 
good review. Starting at zero, I'm going to go up by fives. All right, so I have one five, two eights, two tens, one eleven, four twelves, two thirteens, one fourteen, one sixteen, two seventeens, one eighteen, and one nineteen. This helps us see that the mode or the most number that's reviewed the most really is 12 because it's the highest column. Okay. All right, so in this one, it wants us to arrange the data in order and create a stem and leaf plot, and then find the mean, median, mode, and range. So a stem and leaf plot is another way to show data. And this is how it looks. So we're actually going to collect, correct, we're going to create that first because it's going to help us. So we make this is this left side is what we call our stem and the right side is the leaf. Now the stem is going to be the numbers in the tens place. So in this case we have four, five, and six. The leaf is the number in the ones place. Okay? And I'm going to try to get these in order. So we have 47, 4 and 7 is 47. But I only put one number on either side. We have 48, okay. and then 49. That's all the one numbers in the 40s. When we go to the 50s and we have 50, so 5, 0, 51, 52, and 53. I have a second, 50, a second and a third 53 as well. Then we have a 56, it looks like, and another 56, 57, and 58, two 58s. This is why we're doing the stem and leaf plot. It's kind of helping us get through these numbers because there are a lot of them. Okay, then we go into the 60s, so we have 60, we have one, two, three sixties, and then we have two sixty twos, and then a sixty three, and that's all my numbers. So if I wanted to, now I can write these numbers in order from smallest to biggest. So it would go forty seven, forty eight. 50, 51, 52, 53, 53, 53, 53, 56, 56, 57, 58, 58, that's all those, and then we have our 60s, so we have 60, 60, 60, 62, 62, and 63. So in this case, it really helped making the stem and leaf plot first so I could get them in the correct order since there were so many. All right. So now we can go ahead and find the mean, median, mode, and range. So for, I'm going to erase the stem and leaf plot to get it out of the way. Again, for the mean, the mean, this would take a long time to do, so I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator to get it done faster for this one. I'm almost done. All right. 
has 1,400, so 1,048 I mean. And then this was by 20, so we divided by 20. And that's 52.4. So the mean is 52.4. Now don't worry, in your homework, you if they won't give you this many if they want you to find the mean. Okay, the median is the middle number. So again, I'm going to cross off ends until I get to the middle. And it helps if you can write this in a big long string, otherwise you just kind of have to make sure you're crossing them off. Okay, so now we have it's 56 and 56. So my mode Oh, sorry, not my mode, my median equals 56. Okay, and then we want the mode. Well, in this case, the mode is what we call bimodal, which means that our two, there are two modes because the number 53 and the number 60 are repeated the same number of times. So 53 and 60 are the two modes. And finally, for the range, we're going to do 63 minus 47. Okay. And add the 16. And that's how we show different types of data. And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.